How's it going everybody? Cub fan here and today we're taking a look at yet another Minecraft 1.8 snapshot. Today we have snapshot 14w11a. So this week's snapshot has a lot of really cool features so let's go ahead and get started. So the first change is that minecarts on powered rails are now incredibly faster. So let me show you what I mean. Hit this button and zoom. We are off. We are off to the races here. So yeah, incredible, incredible speeds with those those powered rails. Also new this week, if you have a minecart going close to max speed and you try to have it go around a corner, it will derail. So let me just show you that here. Put a minecart down there, give it a little push, and boom, off the rails. Also new this week, furnace minecarts have been improved. They will now go over unpowered golden rails without any loss in speed. Another really cool thing about this snapshot, which I think is a bug unfortunately, is that if you power a furnace minecart with a cart directly in front of it, um, the furnace minecart will give the first cart a tremendous speed boost. So let me just show you what I mean here. Um, so if we put a piece of coal in here, this cart will accelerate to max speed, which in this snapshot is 25 meters per second, just for your information, uh, which is about three times what it was in 1.7. Um, so yeah, let's just, let's just see that. Kaboom! And it's off. <laughs> and yeah, it'll retain that speed until it eventually flies off the rail down there. And it doesn't seem to lose speed pretty much at all this whole way down here. Alright, and we also have a new mob, the Endermite. Looks like this, and you'll see when you spawn one in, in creative at least, uh, Endermen will attack it. However, this doesn't happen in survival. And here is the Endermite in survival. You can see it looks sort of like a purple silverfish with the end particle effects. It does do damage to you. It does about one heart of damage per hit. And it's relatively, relatively quick. Um, but yeah, this can be pretty terrifying. You're fight, fighting an Enderman, they teleport away and one of these spawns um, behind you and you have to fight the Enderman and the Endermite at the same time. And one pretty cool feature is that whenever Endermen teleport away, there's a small chance that an Endermite will actually spawn there. So if we place some water down here, we should see an Ender Endermite spawn uh, where these Endermen teleport away from. Sometimes it takes a little bit here. But eventually we'll get it. Yep, there you go. You saw that guy teleport away. And Endermite spawned where he teleported away from. So that's a pretty cool feature. Also new this week, you can see block metadata by hitting F3 debug menu and looking at redstone dust or another block. You can see that it's uh, smooth stone granite. And yeah, you, with this redstone dust, you know you can see where it's connected. So it's connected on the south side and the north side here. If we flip this on, you can see that it's powered, and you can see the power level is 13. Now this one's 14, and on the east side of this, there's redstone dust connected up uh, by going up one block, and you can see that also in the metadata. But I think that's going to be all for me today, guys, so thank you very much for watching. This has been Cup Fan. Goodbye.